So assuming that f is 0 comma 0 or the origin and you know the height and you know the length of any given side um, you can calculate all the points positions pretty easily. So if this is 0, 0 right here then we know that the y-axis value for d and c are going to be negative because they're below 0, 0 and we also know that they're going to be the same because they're on a horizontal level. Uh, so basically we take half of the height and that will be the same for both points above and below f or the origin. Those are equivalent. So whatever the height is divided by 2, that is the y value of d and c. Let me go ahead and just write all these out for you. Height divided by 2 equals y value of d and the y value of c. We'll just say y squiggly line, y tilde d and y tilde c. Okay, um, the x values are going to be the length of any side divided by 2 because half of it again is from the zero point, the center, away and that's half the length of any side because the side's flat. So, let's see, um, Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't the height divided by 2, this is 0 minus the height, so it's negative the height divided by 2 is the y value. Back to the x values we're working on. The length of a side, which we'll just say is s, divided by 2, um, 0 plus that would be the x value of c, and 0 minus that would be the x value of d. So we're just taking half the length of a side and going from 0, we're going back, which would drop you straight down to the d value. Okay, um, as for a, we already know that its x value is 0 because it's in the center of the pentagon. So 0 equals the x value of a, and the y value is just going to be half of the height, but this time we're adding it instead of subtracting it. So... 0 plus, or just h divided by 2, um, is the y value of a. And now we have the x and y values of c, d, and a. We just have to solve e and b, which is where our trigonometric formulas come in. Let me uh, separate these real quick. Okay. So we know that let me draw the uh, line here. Okay, cool. We know this is a right triangle right here, meaning there's 90 degrees. So we can use a trigonometric identity. We know that the interior angle of any pentagon is 108 degrees, and that's given by the interior angle formula, which you can look up for any n-gon or polygon. Uh, since we also know that this is 90 degrees, a right angle, then we can just say that this angle right here is 108 minus 90 degrees, or... 18 degrees. Okay, um, and we know that the length from E to D is just the length of our side because this is a side right here. So we now have a triangle which is like this, whoops, and it has an 18 degree angle here, and our hypotenuse is the length side. And we have to solve for this here. So what we're going to do is the um, side times the sine of 18 degrees would be that length. This formula gives you this length, which is this length. And if we know where d is, and we know that e is if d is here on the x value, on the x-axis, and we know that d is, uh, I mean, we know that e is that far away, this far away, and we know how much this is because we just solved for it with this, then we know that e 
is simply whatever the d's x value is, which is this. So d's x value um, minus, and then s times the sine of 18 degrees. Yeah, make sure that's uh, degrees. Minus s times sine of 18 degrees. And that's the x value of b. E. And then to figure out the y value, it's just going to be whatever the y value of d is plus this length or this length. And the way we figure that length out is the same formula, except this time we use cosine. So we're going to say whatever the y value of d is plus that whole formula, but with cosine, and again, make sure it's degrees, is the y value of e. And you can solve the same thing for b just by switching out the variables to be c's variables instead of d's variables. Uh, so those would be our x value for c is 0 plus s over 2. So that's c. And then this is the same for uh, the y value of b and e are the same. The only thing that changes is the x value. So these are our equations to figure out the, lo the x and y locations of the points. Here they are. Uh, try and zoom in as much as possible for the video. Good luck. I hope this helped. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. God bless.